Hi, welcome to HDTV. I'm here at the Pendry Manhattan West with Christine Gesho from Gesho Studios. Hi, how are you? I'm great. It's so good to be here. <laughs> So let's uh, start at the beginning. How did you get involved in this beautiful project? We worked with um, the montage. Um, we did a project with them out in Beverly Hills. I met Mike and uh, Alan, obviously, uh, and Mike and I really hit it off. And when this opportunity came up, we had also worked with Brookfield Development. So it was just perfect match, right. you know, for our team to get involved with the project. We were on board really early on. We did all of the kind of design development planning with SOM. They're the architects on the project. Um, so it was really seamless. It was, um, you know, the conversations were easy. Uh, the building is beautiful. So right. we had such great things to kind of work with. So it was really, it was a dream project as <laughs> I've been telling you, yeah. it was great. And what was the collaboration like with the first men's, Mike and Alan, who you mentioned? Oh, uh, well, first of all, you know, Alan, we all learn every day from Alan. Yeah. I mean, he is so seasoned right. and he sees things that people, most people just don't see. Design teams, architects, you know, operators. He really brings so much to the table. I think he's had every single job in hospitality <laughs> at one time or another in his career. <laughs> Mike had a very clear vision from right. the beginning. Uh, Mike really wanted this kind of soft palette, California warm style right. in the middle of Manhattan. Right. And it was like, no pressure. We're from New York. Um, <laughs> so but we'll figure this out. But we'll figure it out. And, um, and that really set the narrative. And that was the prompt all right. the way through. What was it like trying to translate that you know what started west coast to bring it to the east coast the palette cleanser i thought was a great kind of where our team went with that you're in the middle of this hustle bustle new development to your point right. in the middle of manhattan it's you know we look outside there's a lot going on so when you walk in the door it really takes you somewhere else a bit it, right. it, you know it's there's a calmness and there's a real I think elegance also to the building, right? Yeah. Tall and pretty. Um, so bringing a little of that narrative on the interiors too, it's quite feminine. The thing that I love about the lobby is that the, it's just like a progression of spaces and it feels very residential. Was that intentional? Yes, thank you. It's light, but it's super warm. Right. You know, you look back to these really all wood you know, um, hallways and corridors and, and the greenery of the garden room. And what type of materials did you use? Tell us about the limestone um, is right when you walk in on the uh, fireplace. That was a big thing too. We really wanted to walk in on the fireplace okay. and have something very warm and inviting. It gets cold here, <laughs> yes, you nice. know, <laughs> um, and it's also just a good beacon. And it's a tall building. There yep. are uh, 165 guest rooms. We wanted to make sure that it didn't feel too big. So that was part of the idea of splitting things up and, and not having this huge grand lobby, but having something slightly more intimate to, you know, welcome people and, and a little bit of a decompression when you come in from, you know, the crazy neighborhood yeah. that is New York. Yeah, you're right, and you're right on 33rd and 34th yeah. Street, and so yeah. you're right in the heart of it yeah. all. John Wigmore, talk about what you created with him. We did a series of lights, and then we did um, these screens that are in the lobby, just kind of getting a little bit of your kind of transition back to the garden bar, back to Bar Pendry, but still keeping it very open space to the lobby right. and having that nod of light. Right. And then, okay, guest suites. They, it's similar, but they have their own kind of personality. Yeah, from, yeah. they do. Well, there's a piano in one, yeah. um, which, you know, Kanye, I guess, is famously all over the press. <laughs> that doesn't hurt, by the way. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, that was cool. Put a piano in the penthouse. Nice. They will come. <laughs> and they have come and played on it. It's pretty incredible. That's amazing. I think that they feel like little apartments. Yep. You know, it's a piano chair. I mean, a, a couple of the suites are like 1,200 square feet. They are... They, the materials are residential. Um, you know, there was never a conversation, by the way, of like, oh, you can't use that right. or don't do that here. Huh. And you get pushback a lot when you do hotels. You right. know, hospitality operators can have a real opinion on what they 
are not capable of <laughs> um, maintaining not Pendry, you know, yeah. and not Brookfield. So a lot of what you see is what you would see in somebody's home. A lot of the furniture is custom um, design that, again, we would design for our residential clients. Right. Um, so I think that that helps with yeah. the softness. Two things I always really want to do. One, keep a ceiling clean. Yep. Not easy to do. They said, yes, we can make that happen for you. Um, and the second is the split bathroom. So in your typical guest room, we have, there's a shower, a sink, and then split on the other side of the corridor is the WC with a, a sink and a proper vanity. Challenge accepted, they made it happen. Really? So there were a lot of things that cost more right. uh, to do, but they, everyone was really on board. Right. They were really on board. And those were two that I've tried in the past and I haven't pushed it through. But you got it now. I got it now. Yeah. Yes. Is there a moment that you love the most in the hotel? I, I love Bar Pendry. Yeah. So when I am feeling a little low, yeah. there is nothing better than this lighting yeah. and a cocktail. Yep. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. It's great. It's great. So was this an idea of Mike and Alan's to create this little jewel box or how did it come about? We, they definitely wanted to do Bar Pendry. Right. You know, it's an interior space. We want it jewel box exactly. Yeah. I had this idea that it would be super glowy. I was very inspired by Nancy Lorenz's artwork. Right. Um, and that dictated once, you know, Brookfield and Pendry got on board to commission a piece for the hotel that's when the magic happened. Yeah. And then, of course, the lighting. You want people to look good, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Because then they'll come back. Because then they'll come back, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you commissioned this beautiful piece that's behind yes. the bar. Yeah. And then what was next? We started to pull together a palette as Nancy was developing the piece. And we, we know her work right. Right, intimately, so we kind of knew where that was going to go. And then we started with, okay, it's the metal top bar. It's the, you know, stone bar die. And, and coursed it out from there. Right. Um, and really just kind of riffing off of that tonality right. and the warmth of it. And then we brought in, you know, the, um, the gold leaf ceiling and then some reflective elements. And then really the wood back here was to kind of like ground it a little bit, right. like get, get something a little bit grounded at the bar and frame out her artwork. Um, what kind of wood is it? It's an oak. Yeah. So beautiful. yeah, everything, pretty much everything in the whole hotel is, you know, just an oak. Kept the materials very simple, right. but rich. Right. And that was the idea of it. Much like I think you would do in your home. Well, I think this destination meant a lot to both. Yeah, of them. I do too. Right. New flagship for right. Pendry. I think it's number one on TripAdvisor. It was really the dream team. But again, when you are able to work on a project that's bigger than your project, right. it's really nice. Yeah. That's special. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through and talk us through this beautiful place. Thank you and so much. And congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't I wait to see what's next. Send the congratulations home to the team. Yes. Everyone is really excited, so thank you very much. Of course.